The Chicago Association of Black Psychologists put on an uncensored, unfiltered, all-out discussion about what they say is a cause for concern in the black community. That is, black males and their mental health. I was taught that you don't need to have emotions because you're a man and you're a wimp. Don't cry, whatever, suck it up. The first step is education. Symptoms and triggers. 98% of this country has mental health issues. They just go untreated. Mental health amongst black males, some say it's an issue. That's why Dr. Abari Cartman decided to hold an intimate discussion about it at the Jacob H. Caruther Center for Inner Studies. Dozens filled the room and lended a close ear to the things that were being said, things like how some black males struggle with expressing their emotions. Whatever you feel and you keep it to yourself. Like, you, you, you don't share that because you're not a man. Men don't share their feelings. Richard Badger says males have been conditioned to suppress their emotions from day one. You as a, as a boy, me as a boy, we always grew up where if you were hurting, you couldn't reveal it. And unfortunately, that's still kind of the paradigm today. The discussion also paid particular attention to another sensitive topic, domestic violence. Police say Harvey fatally stabbed Julia, then jumped to his death from her apartment building. I have been a victim of domestic violence, not once but twice, both times I ended up in jail. Laverne Badger, Richard's wife, was a victim of domestic violence for 13 years. She says domestic violence is slowly killing the black community and a conversation needs to be had. It's a silent killer. It's something that's affecting our community, our kids, generation after generation. Um, but if we don't discuss it, then I, there's no solution. Solutions that Dr. Cartman is trying to solve, which is why he says it's important to bring people together to get various perspectives and to attack the issues at hand. I think that without clear conversations, that you can be moving fast in the wrong direction, right? So I think there's something about having the intellects and the scholars and the visionaries and the people that are thinking deeply about these issues come together and share what we've learned to then direct the steps so that the action steps are meaningful, are targeted, are directed, are organized amongst themselves. And as we heard from the discussion, there were a lot of things that were being brought to the forefront. And Dr. Cartman told me that's exactly what he wanted because how could the community move forward if they don't address the issues. At the Caruther Center, Montez Allen, Urban Broadcast Media.